Um, let's let's start things off with a, a game that we've been talking about, sort of for a while. Not pray to, just pray. Just pray. What's what's the story here? Um, pray is arcane, um, doing what they do best in a world that they were really interested to kind of explore and do their own take on. Um, and what Arcane is known for is really immersive first-person games, um, system-based, meaning you have a lot of choice. It's not about scripting moments, but it's about scripting systems and letting players experiment with those systems and figuring out how they want to handle a situation, move through an area. Um, and yeah, it's about being on a kind of a very, very different take on a space station and surviving aliens that very much want to kill you. Yeah. So is this, um, you know, and I don't know how much we're going to be able to talk about now, but w the trailer had a very sort of sci-fi horror Groundhog Day feel to it almost. Like, is that something, is that just sort of a mood piece for that trailer or is that something yeah, that, you know. Yeah, the, the, the Groundhog Day does <laughs> allude to a particular um, part of the game that sure. I won't talk a whole lot more about, but it, it does have a purpose. It does have context in, uh, in the game. The, uh, the psychological twist, the, the terror part, it's definitely not, um, it's not a horror game. Yeah, well, sure. um, it, It's definitely got a, a very heavy sci-fi element to it. Um, but it, 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 it's, a, again, if you, if you look at Arcane and, and what they've done in the past with a game like Dishonored, it's a very well-realized, well-thought-out world that they place you in, and then a lot of... Um, player choice in terms of, all right, you're on board this space station, however you're going to survive is with whatever you can find, and giving the player lots of tools and sort of ways to make their own way through the game and kind of how they want to play and the, in, in the way they want to approach different challenges. And so we haven't seen the, the game properly in action yet. we got this very cool cinematic, but yep. uh, would you say that it's, it feels similar to Dishonored, or do you think it's, is it kind of... Uh, similar for sure, okay. um, but it's definitely not just Dishonored in, in space. There are some things that it's doing maybe more of that um, than, than Dishonored does. And think we actually spent a lot of time over the last couple of years talking about just that, sort of the ways that it's similar and the way that it's different. I think probably at QuakeCon, when we show the game, um, I think it'll start to become a lot more clear sort of w what it's doing that sort of branches off a little bit from things that, that Dishonored has done. But fundamental to that is really immersive first person, that sense of place in the world and, and kind of, you know, you heard Harvey talk a lot about it in Dishonored, like the, the food that the people in the world of Dishonored yeah. eat and the yeah. music and how people get to and from work, all of those things are a very big part of that immersive first person stuff. And so a lot of that you'll see for sure in Prey. And, and, and it's not just a space station, but it's a very mm -hmm. specific take on one and, and kind of what's going on there. So you uh, touched on this a minute ago, you know, with kind of the aliens that not, aren't necessarily here to, uh, you know, they're not going to be our friends. Um, a question that I had watching this trailer, I thought it looked great. And it, it's actually, we nominated it for best trailer of E3. You'll see that tomorrow. So I did love it. But I did sort of wonder, I'm like, this doesn't necessarily look like Prey. Like I saw the game time it'll come up, so is that something that we're going to see more about at QuakeCon or later on? Like, For sure. What makes it sort of a Prey game instead of just a very right. cool first person I, you game? Know, I, I think um, maybe a decent parallel would be if you, if you go back and look at Wolfenstein and you look at Wolfenstein <clears throat> pre-machine games and kind of what you knew of that franchise and then you had these guys come in who say, look, we do very specific kind of games with, um, with a lot of character and story and blending different types of gameplay and we want to take our approach to, to this world. I think some of that is relatable here to Prey, where they're mm -hmm. saying, look, at a fundamental level, this universe is about aliens and a human, in this case, um, <laughs> sure. you know, un, un, sort of under attack and trying to survive right. um, and being the prey of these aliens. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, it's not trying to tie to a, a lot of other things, maybe, that were the first game's take on sure. Prey, or even the second one that we had in develop and then, and then ultimately canceled that it was more about um, you know, their take on this universe yeah. and, and aliens. And now, so I think it's really interesting. It, it's sort of like a, what's the, what's the kind of core thesis of a, of a franchise? You know? like taking, I, I think you guys did that incredibly well with, with Doom most yep. recently. 